This is the first video I'm making that I filmed this year and I thought it would be the catalyst for the first of many. I'm on a run and I just got shat on by a bird. <laughs> well, that's one way to start off this vlog, isn't it? <laughs> one of those days where everything is going wrong. I can't do any time lapses, or a bird that shot on me, and then my phone just fell. Uh, so yeah, that's how my run's going. <laughs> a bird shot on my shoulder. But still, managed to get about seven, seven and a half kilometers. The last couple of months, so December, and January, I've clocked over 150 kilometers each month. I'm on course this month, as of today, to hit 200 kilometers for the end of the month, which would be a massive goal. The only reason I'd be able to stick to it is because I posted an Instagram saying, guys, hold me to account. I need to get together and I need to get in shape. So yeah, hopefully 200 kilometers this month. And uh, yeah, accountability. Accountability is key. <laughs> so why does a guy like me think he needs a YouTube channel? What could I possibly offer the world that I would need a YouTube channel? So I'm gonna have a shower first, then we'll have a sit down and have a chat as to why I decided on having, well, starting a YouTube channel. Why am I starting a YouTube channel? I'm not the funniest, I'm not the best looking, I can't sing, I can't dance, I don't have a particularly inspiring story, I don't have the cinematography of Peter McKinnon, I don't travel like Sam Calder, I can't do storytelling like Matt Davilia, and I can't motivate people like Gary Vee. So why am I starting a YouTube channel? It's pretty simple when you think about it though. I think underlying everyone, we all have this proverbial creative itch that we're always just trying to get rid of. As humans, I think the way that we've all evolved, we always need to do something. We need to create things, we need to make things, we need to feel a sense of accomplishment. I don't think as humans we evolved or we created to sit behind some desks like monkeys and just work away at a computer doing a job that will probably be made redundant as soon as AI technology is good enough to replace us. And I think it's for that reason Reason. A lot of us always start something alongside our nine to fives. Just something extra to do and more often than not, that something always has an element of creativity in there. Could be that somebody takes up photography and starts doing wedding photography. Could be that somebody does a makeup course and wants to turn that into a freelance business. Then you've got the TikTokers of the world. Like TikTok went insane last year. TikTok blew up last year. One, the timing was right, but two, it just made it easy for everybody to be creative. It's your music, it's like your trend or your challenge or whatever, and then you just put your own spin on it and, and put it out there. Everyone, whether it's a good TikTok, or a bad TikTok, is always proud of the TikTok that they made. I don't know how I've got onto TikTok when I was supposed to be speaking about YouTube. I mean, that's probably gonna be a theme of this entire channel, just me going off on tangents. I like talking to myself. I talk to myself in the mirror, talk to myself in the shower, talk to myself on Instagram, on Snapchat. Why not talk about it on YouTube and rather than having it disappear after 24 hours, just leave it for eternity. 
All silliness aside, one of the reasons that I did want to start the YouTube channel is I don't know anybody else who has a YouTube channel. And I thought, why don't I make the kind of content that I wish I could watch? And that is the foundation for almost every single video that I make. I'm gonna go take a seat and we can continue there. As I mentioned earlier, I don't actually know anybody personally who has a YouTube channel and that is one of the reasons that I wanted to start my channel. I thought if everybody else in my life is doing the same thing, I want to try something different. And it's that idea of either you do what you want to do and you stand out, or you do what everybody else is doing and you fit in. I don't want to get into existentialism and discuss the purpose and the meaning of life, but I don't want to go down the route that everybody else is doing. I want to try something else, I want to forge my own path, and this channel is essentially just my way of documenting the things that I learn and the things that I do. My personal growth and my personal development, both physically in terms of the places that I may one day travel to, to my mental side of things and the books that I read and the philosophies that I adopt and different productivity hacks that I might pick up and I find useful that I then want to share with everybody else who is a part of my community. I do also want to make it as entertaining as I possibly can. It's all difficult at the minute with lockdown, not being able to go out and stuff, but I'm sure once that's over, I'll be spending more time outdoors than I will do indoors, that's a promise. Having having a YouTube channel also gives me the ability to create as opposed to consume. Over the past year, and particularly because of the pandemic, I have consumed far too much content and it has had an adverse effect on my mental health. Knowing that I'm going to create now as opposed to consume is definitely a big plus. Remember when you were younger and you would sit around the TV and you'd put on like a VHS of your third birthday party or a wedding from Pakistan that one of your family members bought over. We don't do that very often now. We take pictures on our phones, everything's stored in the cloud. We very rarely actually get a chance to sit down and go through it all, so that's another big reason why I wanna make this channel. The idea of having a sort of legacy or a history of things that I can maybe one day show to my kids. I've wanted a YouTube channel for a number of years now. I was always afraid of people judging me, whether that's because of my views, the way that I look, the way that I speak, various different reasons. And I feel like now I really don't give a shit. Mentally, I'm in a good place where I don't really give a fuck what people think of me or what people say about me. People will always judge and judgmental people are of a lower moral authority than the rest of us, so who really cares? they're losers. <laughs> so yeah, they are some of the reasons for why I'm starting this YouTube channel. I have plenty of content planned. I promise I will be posting more regularly. So if you've not yet subscribed, do hit that subscribe button. Do drop me a comment below. Let me know your feedback on the background there, uh, as well as give you suggestions on the type of content you want to see moving forward. All the thumbs up, the likes, the comments, that sort of stuff really helps push me in the YouTube algorithm. So it'd be very much appreciated if you could do that down below too, all those little thumbs up. That's it for this one. As I said, I've got plenty of other stuff planned, so I shall see you tomorrow. Yes, this is going to be a thing now.